Today's delegation is unprecedented, as you had said. Uh, the fact that uh, the leadership of the United Arab Emirates uh, insists on having a delegation of parliament members headed by the head of the Security Internal Affairs Committee come to Israel and exchange views is indicative, in my humble opinion, of the fact that they want this agreement to trickle down to uh, not only the top, top levels of leadership, but to the nation in general. So it begins with the top leadership, goes down to the representatives, and then to the people to people. There are uh, intent to, on having uh, this agreement felt by everybody on the street. And this was something that was very much felt today in the words of Dr. Ali uh, al Nuaimi, who said very clearly, I'm not playing games. We decided we will have a peace agreement. We are going all out to make this peace agreement completely normalized. And this was something very special, unbelievable. Right. As somebody who served in Egypt, I can tell you it was unbelievable. Right, certainly a different kind of peace Israel has had with our Arab countries. And of course, we Absolutely. heard him say that it's not just security, It'll, he, the UAE wants a full relationship. So flesh that out for us a bit. What are the other aspects that especially you there in the Knesset can help with? <laughs> So I co-chair with another member of Knesset who is from the Likud party, the opposition, the caucus, the first of its kind caucus to promote the Abraham Accords. In fact, we will have different meetings, gatherings of business people, women, scientists, and all other kinds of professionals in order to have a kind of a people-to-people -people exchange. In other words, not only parliamentary members, but in fact, an exchange of views an ability to really transfer benefits that are both regional and also bilateral. In other words, I think Dr. al Noemi stressed that we are not only talking about bilateral UAE-Israeli relations, but also regional, you know, Moroccan, Bahraini, and not only. He insisted on really broadening this issue to quite a large number of countries, and this is the benefit, this is the added value, the endless potential of the Abraham Accords. And we, as Knesset members can do that. We are the representatives of people in this country, which is amazing. Right, and uh, Ruth, uh, of course, uh, members of Knesset lawmakers have gone uh, uh, to the UAE as individuals, but what will be a follow-up here? Will be there some kind of uh, 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 meetings now in the Emirates like this one? I believe that in Maybe March or April, there will be a delegation of Knesset members meeting in the UAE, meeting our counterparts from all uh, parties, which is important. It's not a coalition. It's not an opposition issue. It's not a specific political party, but rather a multilateral bipartisan uh, agreement, which actually fortifies it and the fact that the Israeli people support it. But very importantly, I think that we are talking about a regional conference later in the year in order to enhance even further the relations. And Dr. El Noemi very courageously spoke of a relatively sensitive issue pertaining to education, which is amazing. This is something that really surpasses the issues of security, as you had previously said, and really touches upon issues that just deal with everyday lives, education, infrastructure, science science, technology, and so on. Ruth, briefly, since you mentioned Egypt, any chance of drawing in Egyptian lawmakers, or I think it's even a harder call, some Jordanians in this circle? So as somebody who actually lived in Egypt for three years and served in Egypt for three years, I can say that it is very, very difficult. But recently we saw something that we had never seen before in Egypt, and that is a Holocaust commemoration ceremony, which is completely unprecedented, I can tell you from first experience. And therefore I must say that nothing is impossible. There are teeny tiny signs from within 
Egypt that there is a will. Also, the fact that the Abraham Accords was signed took the onus off of Egypt and Jordan, although Jordan is even more difficult, but took the onus off of Egypt being the only country in the region which made peace with Israel. And I think we are going to a more positive uh, normalization, although we need to be cautious right. about that. As you know, the Egyptian-Israeli relations are sensitive. Right. Cautious, but there are some things that seemed impossible just uh, a, a couple of years ago that now maybe seem a little more possible exactly. with Wasserman Landa. Thank you for joining us on uh, The Rundown. Thank you so much.